cracked down the ground for four. It's a half volley and it got what it deserved. Down the ground, a rare boundary. Yeah. Oh, good placement here from Chris Harris. He stood up tall. And his third boundary, lovely shot from Butcher. Maybe 90. Well, given, Marky, that uh, tomorrow night, around this time, the shadows with England batting, you're going you know, to have to keep that in mind. I think you've got to almost plan the game to be 5 o'clock finish. So that's 90 overs tomorrow from 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock. I think you, you maybe go an hour tomorrow. Oh, good hit. Just set up for uh, Chris Harris, but unlike Richardson, he was able to get it up over square leg and away to the boundary. Yeah, I mean, my feeling actually is that if he could go less than an hour tomorrow morning, if he could be bowling at England within the hour starting, that would be ideal, and therefore he needs to... He needs his boys to bat on in just about any light this evening and take use of a, a clearly waning England attack. Oh, hello, that's a wonderful shot. That's very free. Very expressive, that, from Chris Harris. Harris is uh, joining in on what Astle has started, and that is uh, a run-scoring flurry of boundaries. If they continue at this rate for these 20 overs after this, they'll look to bat all of them. You won't find them get that 80 or 90 by the close. Ah! Oh, that's going to be close, yeah. What a good bit of bowling. There's been a few shouts on Harris uh, off the bowling of Butcher, and he's been rewarded here. A wonderful little in-ducker.